his destiny. Right? They said the manifest de uh, manifest destiny. That's what they belong. They they knew that they were uh, uh, meant to be here. Well, guess what? You're meant to be that evil doer, man. That, that that son of perdition, the son of the wicked. It's not because Yahweh Shah is wicked, but that's what he created you to be. You know? You think that you're gonna eat or you're gonna defeat Yahweh by Shema Yahweh Shah. That you actually think you're gonna win. That's that's that 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 has to be a heavy ass delusion to be on somebody to actually think that you're gonna win against the most high, a power that is above you. I know damn well I can't win against a, a, a damn judge. I have that no, enough sense. I can't win against a judge. I gotta hire a lawyer to win against, to, to not even to win against him, but against the damn jury or the prosecutor. You see? But this man Esau thinks he can, he, he can you can beat Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shah who you put on the cross, that you put to death, that's coming in this power, the power of his father. Who, who's your backup? You know, Satan. When Satan is governed and ruled by Yahweh Shai, Satan got, got you people fooled, man. Yeah, you talk to demons and gives you power, riches, whatever it is that you desire, but not knowing that those demons are some, they're, 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 they're subject to Yahweh Shai. And they're going to laugh at you in that day. Well, not, yeah, they're going to laugh, but they're going to laugh by fleeing, leaving your body. While you're being destroyed and burning that fire, man. And then your spirit's really gonna have to feel that 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 power, man. And what it means to be humble. He shall flee from the fire weapon. Ain't those fucking cars, man. Go ahead. He shall flee from the iron weapon and bow the steel shall strike him through. The bow of steel shall strike him through. What is that? Them ICBM missiles, man. That's what it is. Alright? They don't, they, they don't control what these other nations do. When that, when that, the Spirit of the Lord is on those nations and they're ready to hit that button, that's when it's going to happen. He's going to be, while well, they say peace and safety, sudden destruction shall fall upon thee, man. That's how this place is going to be. Watch the movie, uh, 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 Terminator Judgment Day when Sarah Connor receives that vision when all the parents and their children are just chilling and playing on the playground ain't nobody worrying about a damn thing and look what happened from the distance boom you see that that, that, that missile hit and lit everybody up man. nobody was thinking about a missile coming they weren't putting it on a high alert on the, on, on the television that shit just happened just like in World War II when they hit uh, uh, Pearl Harbor over there in Hawaii Ain't nobody knew about nothing. That shit just came. The Japanese came and started destroying this motherfucker, man. You know? It is drawn and cometh out of the body. It's drawn and coming out of the body. What does that mean? That it's coming out of them silos, man. It's drawn back like a bow, right? It's ready to be shot out. And it comes out of them shallows out of the ground or the, on the boat. Them silos, that's what it's coming, that's what it's talking about, go ahead. Yeah, the glistering sword see that? cometh out of his gal. Yeah. Terrors are upon him. See? Terrors are upon you, man. That's gonna be a, a terrifying thing to see uh, 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 millions of missiles coming upon this place, man. Alright? Get a, a Jeremiah 51. Start at verse 11. That's going to be a terrifying sight to see, man. Because people don't think World War III is going to pop off, man. It's prophesied in the Bible, the Third World War. All right, the Third World. That's prophesied in the Scriptures, man. In the book of Revelations. But some people don't believe in the Revelations. Was that The word revelation means to be revealed. Revealed, what is being revealed? Future prophecy. Now, if you know anything about the Bible, you know that the whole Bible is a spirit of prophecy, the testimony of Yahweh Shai. All right, so that's a terrifying thing to know that the Mosai is gonna use, but these people are playing around with power, man. They're playing around with power, threatening and scaring one another. That neither one of them really want to use that shit. They Esau learned his lesson over the, during the time of Nagasaki Hiroshima, man. He learned his lesson. 
But guess what? The most I'm still gonna put in his heart to do that shit. But it's gonna be upon him. It's gonna be upon his head now. Because that shit was that was what that when that when that happened, man. That was that put fear in a lot of people, man. A lot of fear. Nobody wants to play with that power. But y'all are playing with it, threatening each other, scaring one another, not realizing that that shit's really gonna happen. One day somebody's gonna push that button and it's gonna destroy everything, man. But that's according to prophecy. All right? So, what was that? What was it? Jeremiah 51 and 11. You know? Because that's, that's the way it's gonna be, man. As a thief in the night, man. It's like when somebody breaks in your house, like here in San Angelo, you got a lot of dudes breaking in people's houses, man. Kicking door, this, that, and the third. And everybody, that when that happens to you, what happens? You're scared, afraid, you know? Some people get shot, stabbed. Most of the time, ain't nobody ever there at home. But the most high is coming where there, there's no gates or bars upon this place, man, no walls. Everybody's open to be destroyed, man. This is Jeremiah 51, verse 11. Make right the arrows, gather the shields. Yahweh hath risen, raised up the spirit of the king of the uh, of the Medes. Medes. And now those are the Russians. All right. So they're making ready those glittery spears, man. Those arrows. All right. They're taking up the shield. Go ahead. For his device is against Babylon. To destroy it. That's right. Because it is the vengeance of Yahweh. Yep. See, the Lord is doing this, man. The Lord has orchestrated this. Esau is a fugitive. I mean, uh, Cain is a fugitive, and a fugitive is running ju from judgment. And that man's judgment has has uh, throughout the process of time has a uh, what is the word um, occurred? No. Has basically developed penalties more. Penalties upon penalties, fees acquired, right? As you said, acquired. Fees, penalties, like Esau does. If you don't go and pay something, you you, you acquire fucking penalties and fees. And then by the time you know, yo, five a thousand dollars when it was originally two hundred dollars. You see what I'm saying? How much more with Yahweh Shai? So this man has gone through all this time and throughout history, running from his judgment, and this judgment that's coming upon him is gonna be heavy, great, man. Keep reading. Because it is the vengeance of Yahweh, the vengeance of his temple. Set up the standard. Is it the vengeance of his temple? Who is his temple, man? It's like this man was up here talking about the temple and his churches. They had a reason with him and he said, your body, right? That's that's you touching the temple, his people, man. That's right. All right, go ahead. Set up the standard. Set, set up the standard. That's what we're doing. We're letting you know what it is. We're letting you know the truth. We're sounding the alarm in Zion, in the holy mountain of Yahweh Shem Yahweh Shai. Okay? And before the throne, in the heavens. We're sounding that trumpet, man, that alarm. Then you know what the law and the commandments are. What the Lord requires and expects from you. What's going to happen to these nations, these other heathens? What's the future judgment for Esau? Go ahead. Set up the standard upon the walls of Babylon. Make the watch strong. Hmm. Set make, up the watchmen. It said make the watch strong. Is that not what you see happening? There's a lot of guys, well, not a lot, there's some guys that, that came up against GMS for years talking shit. But now they're, they're coming to the realization saying, Hey man, I respect y'all because y'all y'all go into history, secular history. Uh, uh, y'all go deep in the scriptures. The Lord has to be dealing with them. You know, that's we're we're the only ones that are making this. Read that part again. That one part. Make the watch strong. Make we're the only ones that are making this watch strong, man. We're actually raising up men, not no little boys. In a, in, in, hurry, you know, in a hurry, the spirit of Yahweh Shem Yahweh Shai is making it. Making this watch strong. That's why he's seen the brothers in GMS putting up video after video after video after video. Sharing videos. 
getting into prophecies. You'll see the other camps doing that. All they're doing is talking shit and still putting out the same uh, false doctrines that they've been doing, like the, like the churches have, man. Still, some, You got some guys that, that know the Hebrew Israelites and still saying you have to be baptized by water, man. Yahweh Shai didn't even baptize with water. He baptized you by his words, man. The spirit. And then when you read Acts, <coughs> you can bring out Acts and talk shit. Try to be a smart ass. But go, go into whenever uh, 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 Peter was over there in the, with, uh, I believe it was, was it Cornelius? Yeah, with Cornelius. And he, 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 when he baptized him with water, you read, 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 keep reading. And he says, then he understood what that baptism really was, man. They were already baptized when they started speaking in another tongue, man. The baptism already fell on them. Is that scripture doc where it says uh verily John baptized you with water verily I baptize you with water but one cometh that baptizes you with the spirit yeah the fire and the spirit who's mightier than John the Baptist right because the people saw John as, as a prophet they knew he was mighty but John acknowledged confessed saying hey one one comes after me is mightier than me whose shoes I am unworthy to unloose he couldn't wear his foot, he couldn't walk in his lot. Yahweh Shai was that one. And he was going to baptize you with, with the, uh, the Holy Spirit and fire. And he tells you that in, in, in different scriptures, man. That they shall surely drink of this cup. That fire is, 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 is a, your trials, your, your, to be persecuted. That's what's going to build you up and purify you, man. If you remain in the spirit of Yahweh Shai, Yahweh Shai. If you don't remain in this wicked ass world, you know. Go ahead. Prepare the ambushes. That's right, and that's what's happening. The ambushes are happening right now. America's set up, they don't even know it. You people have been scammed, been lied to. Mm. Y'all are considered uh, 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 terrorists. Y'all don't even know it, man. Because Esau knows he's a fugitive, he's making you people as one, as him, like unto himself. Because he knows he, he's out of luck. He, he ain't got the blessing that he was trying to cry and get back from uh, Isaac that he already gave to Jacob, man. Which was already set up in the spirit that was going to be out, be that way. You got people that are saying that when well, he stole it from he lied. He didn't fucking lie, man. He, it was set in the spirit that it was going to happen that way. And it tells you that in the book of Romans. There ain't no unrighteousness in Yahweh by Shem Shah. And if he wanted to do it, he's going to do it. Who are you to judge Yahweh Shah? Man, you got to be a fucking... You think you're greater and smarter than the Lord, man. That's like a, a, a heavy demon. To be delusional, man. Because I remember I hear that word. I always heard it based on women. Like women are fucking stupid, man. They, they, they're the ones that, that are easily, they believe in, 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 in words. and that They believe in everything. <laughs> but the truth. But the truth. They believe in everything but the truth. Right. And it's, you got this, this Edomite man, this the devil. That is just as worse, or, 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 you know, just as worse, man. And he and he's delusional. He thinks he can win against Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shah. You think he, he can outsmart him? But hey, that's that's fine because I'm I'm worried about the lex, the brother that's that's coming in, or whatever brothers that watch the video. I'm concerned about you, and that's it, and my own salvation. You know, that's why the Lord tells us. Let the filthy be filthy. Let the unholy be holy. All right. He, he that hear, let him hear. He that forbears, let him forbear. Fuck him. You know. For Yahweh hath both devised and done that, which See, he spake. The Lord has. The Lord both had done those things, man. He's the one that set this up. It ain't based upon us. It's not like one day I just woke up and be like you know what I'm gonna go out there. Start just preaching the Bible. I'm just gonna just read, learn as I go. This ain't no damn job, the carnal job that we have here in the, in the world. You learn as you go. This spe specific, particular way that the Most High has things to be spoken when His Word comes out. You gotta have your sign. You gotta have your garment. You gotta have your books. You gotta have. Well, I don't have those, the books with me, but you gotta have your dictionaries. You have to have your concordance. You gotta have all, all these different things to prove to these people. You know, but it's not, and that's the one thing is, is that I don't get. I, I was like, for me, 
I didn't need no proof. I just believe, man. And that's the difference. Is that faith? That's what faith is. It's believing. But yeah, that those 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 pictures helped me to see. But that word was more powerful than those pictures, man. That word should be fucking making your brain jump up and down. Exciting. Excited. Want, ready to learn. Ready for more. Hungry. But these people ain't hungry. The people, a lot of you people out here are dead, man. Twice dead, like y'all wish I said. Dead men, let the dead bury the dead. For Yahweh hath both devised and done that which he spake against the inhabitants of Babylon. <laughs> See, man? I thought the Lord was all peace. I thought he was all love. You don't know the Lord the way you think, I, the way you ought to know him, man. Look at that shit. You know? You don't know the Lord the way you ought to know him. That's why when that day comes, Y'all people are going to be bugging the hell out, man. Y'all going to be bugging out. A lot, some of y'all going to be dropping dead. Like from, not, not just dropping dead, like it's a peaceful death. Like y'all going to hurt within that, that, that shock. And only the Lord knows. We, we only can see what we see, what we know, what we know. But the most high has, is infinite, man. There's ways of the, with the, ways the Lord can, can deal with somebody. Go ahead. O oh, thou that dwellest upon many waters, mm. abundant in treasures. Mm. That's America. <laughs> That's North America. That's right. All right? That's plain. It ain't the Roman Catholic Church. All right? You got bug ass that believe. That's pertaining to the Roman Catholic Church. That ain't the Roman Catholic Church. Okay? That ain't Rome. The Rome ain't nothing but probably as big as San Angelo. All right? They don't need no 200 minutes to destroy fucking Rome. The Roman Catholic Church. All thou that dwellest upon many waters. The waters represent people. I'm not just talking about the physical land, man, as far as the water around it. It's the people. There's... America's known as a great melting pot, man, because it has every nationality, every custom, every tradition in this place. Man. That's why it's known as Great Babylon. Because Babylon, when it was governed by Nebuchadnezzar, or even going back to Nimrod, it's the Tower of Babel, it had everybody there, man. Everybody was there. And they all they all worked their own witchcraft, their own their own uh, uh, philosophies and their doctrines, their own custom traditions, whatever they, they, they desired, that's what they did, man. America's the same way. Exactly. So that's what those waters represent. It's the people. Go ahead. Abundant in treasures, thine end is come. Hmm. And the measure of thy covetousness. 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 Right. Read it again. I'll go shot from the top or from that one verse. I'll read the whole. Okay. O thou that dwellest upon many waters, abundant in treasures, thine end is come, and the measure of thy covetous covetousness. 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 Yeah. Yep. yep. So the, your measure has come, man. Now, what is that measure? You can read it in the book of Daniel's, and you can read it in the book of Job, and in Second Ezra. Now, I want to bring out one in the book of Job. Uh, here. This is the book of Job, chapter 14, verse 5. Seeing his days are determined, and the number of his months are with thee, thou hast appointed his bounds. That he cannot pass because the most has set a time for when you're going to be destroyed. For when the end is coming, right? You read that right in the verse up? Read that part again, that verse up where it said the, the end has come, something like that? Um, just read the whole verse. Okay. Set up the standard upon the walls of Babylon, make the watch strong, set up the watchmen, prepare the ambushes, for Yahweh hath both devised and done that. Which he spake against the inhabitants of Babylon, O thou that dwellest upon many waters, abundant in treasures, thine end is come. Yeah, thy the, end is come, man. Yeah. And the measures of thy covetousness. And the measures of thy covetousness. So your your heart's desire is only gonna go so far to what you're gonna gain. Like we read in Book of Job, where, you, where you're eating, you're you're gonna eat what is uh 
what is sufficient for thee. But after that, you're gonna have to regurgitate it. You got to vomit it back up. You see? So that that's a beautiful thing because, like I said, and there's many scriptures that were verifies that you don't you're only set to how far you can go. That's with all of us. But I'm talking about this particular man that his, whose head is in the heavens, his excellency is up in the clouds. Where people look at somebody that's of power, they're like, hey, he can't be brought down. There ain't no way that man can be brought down. It's simple, yes he can. Look at look, look at athletes, look at uh, 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 boxers, you know? Look at uh, uh, anything that anybody prospers and they're, 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 they're the baddest motherfucker in that field. But it's only for a short period of time, man. That's in everything. It don't matter. If it's for a hundred years, a thousand years, the Lord of Vision is going to bring it down. It's going to put it to a stop. It's written. It's there. And it's all through just being fucking using your head, man. Common sense. Everybody has their own their 15 minutes of fame. The only time that, the only thing that endures forever is being in this word. That's the only thing. And yeah, we ain't, we ain't floating in the air, we ain't in the cherry, we ain't uh, with the nicest things and this, that, and the third. But this word is far more above all that, man. This wisdom, knowledge, and understanding. This is our riches, man. This is our, the, uh, the fear of the Lord is this treasure. We have more than what these people have, man. What these people have, these Edomites have, is, is, is vanity. This is more and it far exceeds anything on the earth. And it triumphs above everything. That's what these people don't want to understand, man. And it's fine. I ain't fucking worried about them. I'm worried about the brothers that watch videos, the brother that's with me, and that's it. And that believe and have faith. The brothers that are on the four corners of the earth, in the four corners of the earth that are coming in the name of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai and the right doctrine. That's it. You got something? This is Hebrews 13 and 14. For here we have no continuing city, but we seek one to come. That's right. Go ahead, you break that. That's pretty much self-explanatory. We, we're not seeking to be, you know, like the brother was saying, successful, be up high here in this in this city or in this uh, 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 country. We're seeking one to come, and that's what that's what the brother was saying. We're, we're here to edify and and be with the brothers, you know, to be a uh, uh, what's that word? To be uh, like brothers, basically. Yeah. Be brothers. Yeah, and and and, and being. Being of the same mind, being in the same spirit as who? As Yahweh Shai, you know? Because that's what he wants, that's what he pleasures, that's what he delights in. That's part of that, that will of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai. Okay? So, yeah, like the brother read, we, we are, we're looking for a, a, a country, a kingdom that has, has, a, it has con, like a, a continual city that is, the, that is to come, which is the kingdom, man. That's what we're looking for, that's what we're desiring for. But through that, in, in order to gain that, you gotta have this knowledge. You have to have the spirit. That's your ticket. The names, all right. This wisdom, knowledge, and understanding is your ticket. It, it isn't mean how many brothers you have in your camp. That's not your ticket. It's it's if you're the elect and you gotta have this knowledge, wisdom, and understanding. The names of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai. Because we all know you ain't saved by your works, but that's part of that movement. That's part of the of your walk. Through your walk, you're gonna have works. You're gonna have faith. You're going to believe. But what I'm trying to say is that the elect is the elect, and that's it. But the elect are going to do what they have to do. They're going to fulfill the whole spectrum. They're not just going to go this way or that way, or, or they're going to cut this part of it and just do this half, or two-thirds of it. They're going to do the whole thing to the best of their ability. Whether they fall, like the scriptures say, righteous man falls seven times and rises up again, man. But that's what we're seeking. We're seeking a better kingdom. But what I'm trying to say also is that Esau, his... That, that, that measure of, of covetousness has come to a, a halt, okay? And, and, and he's only going to go so far. Now, <clears throat> here in the book of uh, Daniel, when uh, Nebuchadnezzar died, his son took after him. And they took all the, the goalie vessels that were in the, uh, the Ark of the Covenant, I believe, in the temple, and they started using them, drinking out of them, you know, being uh, evil, wicked. Well, basically, those, those vessels represented the people. Of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shah. But they used those vessels for wine to eat off of, the gold plates, the gold cups, etc. Now, check this out. In the book of Daniel, chapter uh, 5, verse 5, it says, In the same hour came forth fingers 
of a man's hand and roll over against the candlestick upon the plaster of the wall of the king's palace. And the king saw the part of the hand that wrote. Then the king's countenance was, was changed and his thoughts troubled him so that the joints of his, of his loins were loosed and his knees smote one against another. So, let me get his name. Bel Belshazzar, the king, made a great feast, right? So Belshazzar, that was Nebuchadnezzar's son. So this man was, was being presumptuous, was being proud, and took those gold vessels and started using them in that feast. Then a hand came out of the, out of the air, out of, out of nothing, and, and started writing on the wall. And he, was, uh, he feared of that, right? So it said <clears throat> um, that there was a writing, right? In verse 7, then the king cried aloud to bring the astrologers, the Chaldeans, and the soothsayer, just like Esau does to this day. He does the same thing. That's why they're always watching the heavens and doing these, 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 these sounds, tests, to see what they're hearing out in outer space. It says, And the king spake and said to the wise men of Babylon, Whosoever shall read this writing and show me the interpretation thereof shall be clothed with scarlet and have a chain of gold about his neck and shall be the third ruler of the kingdom. So there was a writing on the wall. Now that writing of the wall was... trying to find where where it basically says it was a balance he's been balanced he's been weighed in the scales this man the kingdom uh, I'll just start at verse uh, Daniel 6 and 24 then was the part of the hand sent from him and this writing was written so after that they summoned Daniel because Daniel had the ability for to interpret dreams and hidden mysteries. He, they knew he they knew that Yahweh Shimon the power of all, was dealing with Daniel. So they summoned him. Verse 25. And this is the writing that was written. Mene, Mene to to kill you you for you forestin. This is the interpretation of the thing. Mene, God has numbered thy kingdom and finished it. You see that? To kill, thou art weighed in the balances and are found wanting. Just like the brother read in Jeremiah 65, like we read in Ezekiel 47. We read in Jeremiah or Job chapter 14 and Job 20. It's everywhere, man. It's everywhere where this man is going to be weighed in a balance, and there's a measure of bound, a, a, a balance have been set for this man, and he's going to be sought after. Eventually, that judgment is going to be played out upon him. Like it was on Babylon. And it was done through who? The Media Persian Empire. Starting with King Cyrus. It said, That are weighed in the balances and, and are found wanting. Perez, thy kingdom is divided and given to the Medes and Persians. You see? This time, the kingdom, the earth, the universe is going to be given into the hands of who? The Hebrew Israelites. And it tells you that in the same book, the book of Daniel, that the, the saints shall take it forever and ever. All right. So this is the last go around for all the other nations. Y'all, the other nations had y'all's time. All right. You uh, uh, Canaanites, you Hamites, Ishmaelites. All right. You per, you Persians. All right. You Edomites. This this is the last one. Esau's the end of the world. We all know that. No getting around any of this what we're trying to tell you. Whether from be the head of elders all the way down to the least of the brethren. You people cannot get around with anything that we say according to the scripture, man. You can bring out whatever little scripture talking about love, whatever. Yeah, that's all true. But there's a balance to Yahweh Shem Shai. And who does that love apply to? Who does that love apply to? To his elect, man. That's it. You're not the elect if you ain't going according to Yahweh Shem Shai's ways. If you don't believe that the Lord is a so-called Negro, that right there, you're already done. Man. Yeah. Because that's part of the truth. That's part of accepting Him. People say, oh, well, He's my personal Savior. If He's your personal Savior, you'll believe, you would accept Him as who, who He was, who He is. That's what His name is, Yahweh. When you break down Yahweh, that's what it means. He, Yah is He, and Hawa is, is to be or to exist. That's what it is, man.
but people want to despise the word. They don't want to accept it because it's coming from people that you don't agree with. All right, whatever, it's fine. Go ahead. Up. You got something, or are you still on the same? No, it's okay. Same. Go ahead. Yahweh of hosts hath sworn by himself, this is Jeremiah 51 and 14. Yahweh of hosts hath sworn by himself, saying, Surely I will fill thee with men as with caterpillars, and they shall lift up a shoot against thee. He hath made the a shout, earth. A shout or a shoot? A shout. A shout. Lift up a shout against thee. He hath made the earth by his power. He hath established the world by his wisdom. And hath stretched out the heaven by his understanding. Yeah, well, Shai governs, governs everything. He rules everything, man. Yeah, well, Shai governs men and, and, and kingdoms. And he sets up the bases of men. He plucks up and kills and makes alive. This, that, and the third. The Lord does it all, man. But then you got this down asshole that tries to rule everything. Tries to play God. You know? Throughout the, how, do, how, do, how can I say it? Because in the Bible. There have been many of his people that said that he is a God. Antiochus is Epiphanes, King Herod, Alexander the Greek, the creep, said he was a God, son of Zeus. You know? Even uh, whenever the, the natives were chased out of uh, the central part of the U.S. Whenever they were chased out, it was by this uh, this Edomite uh, president, and you know after he, he lied to them first, he was smooth talking to them, and then he convinced them to leave. And when they left, he took over the land. And after he died, uh, uh, his his friends, the politicians, they were all discussing about his death and they asked, do you think this man went to heaven? And they said themselves, if he wanted to go to heaven, he went to heaven. Making him seem like if, if he had some type of authority. Yeah. You know, and that's how they want to play themselves. Yeah. Which we, I mean, we all know that the Bible, even the wicked are in the heaven, in heaven. But, that's where everybody goes when you die. Your spirit goes back to the heavens, to the spirit realm, and your body goes back to the earth. To tell you that in the book of Job. They ain't, they ain't doing no wickedness up there. There ain't no pressing over. They ain't doing shit, but resting. But when they come down here is where everything's being played out. All right? So the, the kingdom of heaven, where you want it to be at is here on the earth. That's where the Lord is trying to convey to you. It, you don't have to die to be in the kingdom of heaven. <laughs> That's what people... They don't, they're, they're fucking stupid. You know what I'm saying? This, the kingdom of heaven is going to be played out here on earth. This Having this wisdom, love, and understanding in you is already part of the kingdom of heaven. You're already tasting the heavenly gift. You see what I'm saying? It's, but instead, you're going to be able to see, taste, 